Okay, today we're going to have a look at um, building windows. Uh, I get asked quite a lot about building windows. Um, so I thought I'd do a, a quick tutorial on how I do the um, basic windows for the greenhouses. This is the GD18 here. And how I do, how some at least some theory about how to make windows for houses and things like that. So, so there's some other alternatives as well. But the most basic kind is the the, the one we put in uh, our greenhouse kits. Okay, this is a beveled frame. This is the GD18 kit here, um, and I'll quickly show you the principle about about uh, putting some windows in. Uh, right, let's have a closer look. First thing to remember is you need a horizontal bar on a window. Uh, putting a window in, uh, let me have a look, find another one. On this one here, this isn't horizontal. Um, let's have a look on here. This isn't horizontal. You need a horizontal bar uh, and that pentagon there doesn't have any in. If you, uh, we'll just highlight that, if you put a window in there, uh, the rain could theoretically blow under. So it's got to have a horizontal top bar. So let's select uh, our um, triangle frame that we want to put a window in. Uh, and all we do is we uh, take our frame uh, and in the real world we just make another one. So you, you need another frame but in the uh, virtual world we shall copy and paste this like that. So what you've got is, what we've done is we've uh, copied it and spun it around so 180 degrees. So let's look a little bit closer. I'll just move that for you. There. So we've got a frame, just two frames facing each other, and that's that's uh, our basic window. Uh, and what we do is we uh, then can highlight that again, the right one. Uh, put a hinge on on this back here, and that allows you to open the window like that. So that's an open window. Uh, and as you can see, it's a very basic window. Uh, when that's shut down, uh, if, you, if you get a lot of wind, you might get an odd drop or two blown through. But the important thing is the seal on the back of here. You need to put some flashing on here. Uh, and I'll show you that next. Okay, uh, I've made a window now. What I've done is taken a triangle and I put this beam, you probably see better from this side, a piece of wood across here to put the latch on and a piece of wood down here just to straighten it. Okay, that's greenhouses done. 
uh, let's take a closer look uh, at some other ways. If we go back to the same panel that we, we did the last one in, and what I'll do is we'll just cover this with a covering, uh, and we'll just extrude it to make. So this would be for something like, uh, let's have a look, let's do it 8 millimeters. Like a, a, a fiberglass dome, um, something that's covered in a, a sheet material, <clears throat> and you want to put windows in. Right. Uh, so this is our sheet material, and want it, we want all the other sheet material across the dome is the same. So this this would have a sheet material, but you want to put a window in this one. So the shape you need to aim for. Let's have a look at the measurements here. Go about 40 mils in. Uh, then we'll extrude out. Then we'll. What, is, what tool is this? The offset tool. Offset, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll go in. Right, so that would be, um, let's have a look at that now. So what all we've done is, we've uh, lifted this here. Uh, this would all be sealed. So if you've got a fiberglass dome, uh, this whole component would all be weather sealed. It's not that isn't joined onto here like it shows here. It it would be an all, all one piece so that uh, you don't get leak, any leaks, obviously. Right. Unhide, and this is how our uh, glass would go on. Again, you would have your uh, top frame, so let's, let's put some uh, four mil glass on there. All right. Five mil. And let's just colour that in with the, uh, so we can see through it, like it would be glass. A little bit, a little bit clearer. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So that's that's the layout of. Uh, this is good for high up windows. You have you have the same frame. We have the inside out frame, uh, but that goes on top. Of our cover material, and let me just uh, make a com oh, is, that, is that right? Yeah, it was. Let's make a component. Make we'll just group them together, uh, and then we can open the window, and you can see how it looks open. Again, you have to have a um, hinge on the back here. And this one, there you go, like that. The, what this does is, if there's any uh, rain gets down through this flashing, you've got this secondary frame inside. So uh, if I lift this out the way, just go up, please. There we go. Lift that out the way. Um, we can see that the water will just run down run along here and run down here. So it gives it extra weather seal, that one. Um, and wind can't blow water underneath it. But this is only suitable for uh, high up in the dome. You want, you want to keep them as uh, horizontal as possible. Uh, when you move down the dome, uh, let's pick a lower point. I'll show another method. And finally, for a... Lower down triangle, let's do this one. Uh, and a window that doesn't open. Uh, a lot of people assume that if you put a window in, it's got to open. But that's not necessarily the case. Again, if it's got a cover, uh, a cover, so let's just extrude that a little bit. Oops, come on. 
let's do nine mil. So. And it's lower down, so you've got a steeper angle. Uh, it's a, a similar principle to the offset tool here to the other window in that uh, you come in a bit then out of it but this time with the offset offset tool I think we can yeah we can we can go out a little bit and the offset Right, here we go. Uh, this is, if it's got a steeper rake, you need that profile. So imagine that obviously the, sh the sheet's running and that's waterproof. Uh, if, it, if you did just the lift like we did before, water could potentially, on a steep angle, a uh, steep window like this, roll over the top and leak in. Uh, so you have to have a return up um, and Again, I will just make that uh, make that a group so it doesn't things don't stick to it, uh, and then you could simply um, glaze over that, and you don't necessarily have to have it open. You could just um, use double-sided glazing tape and sealant. Let's make that a four or five mil piece of glass do five mil and we'll just show that uh, a bit transparent there uh, and what you would do is you would um, seal this glue this to here you could also put a aluminium frame over the top um, I haven't got time to draw that now uh, but I think you get the picture you can it, uh, you can put as many windows in as like that as possible a lot of people put square windows in a dome because they can buy them off the shelf and they're already done but it really doesn't take uh, that much work uh, something like this could be made with um, sheet material uh, square edged timber and then just fiberglass the whole lot so it's an all, a whole waterproof unit and then fit that into your structure later. Anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas about doing the windows. Uh, like and subscribe to see more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.